Hey everybody, today I'm going to be attempting to make a cold light wand using tribal luminescence from quartz crystals. So I bought these giant quartz crystals off of Amazon. Now companies have been scamming people selling them quartz as energy crystals for a long time, and that's what these were for. But today the joke's on them because I'm actually going to be extracting real energy from these quartz crystals. An interesting thing happens when you break quartz crystals. On one side of the crystal that got broke, there's a positive charge, and on the other one, there's a negative charge. And that creates an extremely high voltage between the two, and the charges can jump from one side to the other. So the electrons jump through the air, and it creates a plasma, or a little spark, when it jumps across. So in order to see this, we need to break these crystals. Now one good way to break the crystals a bunch of times in a row to keep continuous light is just to rub the two together. Okay, now watch this. This phenomenon is called tribal luminescence. And people sometimes call this cold fire because the sparks that form are actually hot, but they produce a lot of light. So this won't start a fire or anything, but you could light your way with it. Tribal luminescence has been known for a long time. In fact, it's said that the indigenous Ute tribes of America, thousands of years ago, gathered quartz crystals and put them in buffalo hide. So basically they made quartz rattles with a little bit of skin around it that could lit through light. And when they would shake those rattles during ceremonial dances at night, it would emit light. Now I saw a lot of places that talked about this, but I never saw one that's actually working. So I wanted to test if that's really true. Can you actually have a rattle that emits light by shaking it just by putting a bunch of quartz crystals in it? So in order to try this first, I need to break apart my quartz. So first let me try my hammer. And of course this didn't work, so there's only one solution. You guessed it, we're bringing back the hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that was cool. <laughs> I might have to return to the hydraulic press days. Okay, this is exactly what I was going for. Little pebbles of pure quartz. Okay, now I'm just gonna gather up the quartz crystals and put them in a plastic bottle here. This will represent my buffalo skin that contains the quartz crystals. Okay, I got a bunch in here. Let's just go ahead and shake it and see if it works. Okay, this is not working. So I'm guessing it's not working is because I have a lot of tiny little crystals in there. It's almost like quartz sand in there. And I think it's padding it enough so that the crystals aren't hitting together enough to crack apart that much. So I'm gonna try taking out the smaller crystals, all the sand stuff, and just leaving the larger ones and seeing if that works. These larger crystals worked a lot better. I really had to shake it to get hardly any light out of it, but it did work. So it's definitely plausible to make a rattle out of this where you can shake it and see light when it's really dark outside. So the bigger rocks worked a lot better, so now I'm just gonna try only big rocks. So I do see some light coming through here. So it definitely is plausible to make a rattle out of this, but it doesn't work as well as I thought it would. It definitely is a lot easier to just rub two big crystals of it together. It gets really bright that way. You can see it even when it's not that dark in the room. Now one thing that helps when rubbing the crystals together is you have to make sure you dust it off every once in a while or else it doesn't light up that well because the crystals have to be rubbing against each other directly to crack and get that tribal luminescence to occur. Now tribal luminescence actually occurs in a lot of different materials, not just quartz. You can pretty much get this to work with any asymmetric crystals, and even some symmetric crystals work as well. Even something that you wouldn't think is really crystalline, like sticky tape, scotch tape, when you pull it apart you can see tribal luminescence. And the most well-known one you've probably seen is when you bite wintergreen mints, they crack, and when they crack, you can see the tribal luminescence sparks occur. Now in all three cases of these tribal luminescence that I just showed you, you can see that the colors aren't exactly the same. So all of the sparks are occurring in air, so it seems like they should be the same color. But actually, a lot of these materials also phosphoresce as well, and they also are a little bit fluorescent. So they can emit photons of different colors of light when those high energy electrons strike them. 
So you can actually get many different colors that come off of it as opposed to just that purple glow that you normally see in an air plasma. Now before we end, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, Mel Science. If you enjoy watching my channel, then you'll love Mel Science Boxes. Mel is a subscription box service that provides you with your own science kits that are shipped monthly. They're designed by actual scientists and parents to give you an amazing box every time you get it. I've used their kits a lot of times in my videos and even with my own kids. I highly recommend Mel Science Kits because one of the best ways to learn something is by doing it yourself and experimenting yourself. And their science kits bring those experiments to you at home. They have amazing kits that'll keep you busy for a long time. So if you want to check out the Mel Science Kits, right now you can get 60% off the first month by using the promo code ACTIONLAB or by scanning the QR code on the screen or clicking the link in the description. And this applies for any of the Mel Science subscription boxes like STEM, chemistry, physics, coding, or med. And thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, or hit the bell to be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.